welcome to episode three. Episode three, we will be covering outward middle block and lady stance. Okay, hands in chamber. Make sure you're doing a nice curl roll wrap, a nice tight fist. Hands in chamber, palms are up. Don't have your elbows out, keep those elbows tucked in. Drop down to horse stance. Now, we're gonna come through just like episode two, we did our cat stance. But now our lady stance is going to push behind the other foot, but it's still, we're up on the ball of our foot, all the way back behind. And then back to our cat stance, and then out to our horse stance. So then the other leg, same thing, come up. It's almost like you're going through your cat stance. Right from that horse stance, there's your cat stance, and right back behind you for your lady stance. And then back to your cat stance, out to horse stance. So if you haven't, if you don't know what cat stance is, look at episode two where we went over the cat stance. When we're doing our lady stance, we come in through our cat stance back to the lady stance. What we don't want is we don't want our feet to hang tangled up. So you should be in a straight line. And to know if I'm back far enough, if I go down on my knee, my knee should be behind my front foot. My knee is behind my front foot, and I get up. That's how I know if it's right. If I if I'm, haven't gone back far enough and I go down and my knee is in front of my front foot, I need to put my foot back further, okay? And to find out if your stance, if you went too far across, bring that foot. If your back foot hits your front foot, you know it's not right. Back to your cat stance, out to your horse stance. Now the other leg. Cat stance, and then lady stance. Same thing, you can check in here. Back that goes down, and if your knee is behind the front foot, and then comes up. Cat stance, and then horse stance, okay? And we'll just watch the boys go through. Knees are bent, cat stance, lady stance, cat stance, horse stance. So that's all three of our stances together. And then the other side, cat stance, good. Lady stance, nice. And then cat stance, and horse stance, good. So that's three stances, horse stance, cat stance, lady stance, all together. Putting them together quickly, you're just gonna go right behind. You can go directly into your lady stance from your horse stance, okay? So we do that nice and slow, right from our horse stance, all the way back, for lady stance, and then all the way back to horse stance. Then the right leg, all the way to lady stance, and then horse stance. Now, from the horse stance, what we're gonna do is outward middle block. So outward middle block is blocking the belly. So right from the chamber, our hand is gonna go down, across the belly, and then out. Down, across the belly, and out. We're gonna make like the letter V. So from the side, Blocking the center. And watch Damiano from here to the side. So turn sideways so they can see. Hands in chamber, keep going with Taylor. If I punch in the center, he's using his outward middle block. Block. Three hands in chamber, that's it. There, and then hands in the chamber. Just like that. Turn too much. So, when you're doing that outward middle block, make sure you're coming across that belly and blocking outside. Most common mistakes are an outward middle block that comes out too far, or if it's straight, or if it's too close, okay? Making sure that elbow stays close, going with your outward middle block, please. Make sure that elbow isn't bent, you're in a nice V shape, nice letter V, coming across, locking that belly, locking the belly, all right? All right, feet together. So that's episode three, lady stance, outward middle block.